So, this is a new world. Welcome. Where humans are now challenged into evolving and developing new skill sets and virtues. Our survival depends more and more on how we relate to new technologies, which advance and change rapidly by the day. The paradox and the conundrum is are we humans more independent or free? Happier? Are we more intelligent? Stronger physically, mentally and spiritually? Are we more abundant? Maybe we have more stuff around. Maybe we can move faster from place to place if you can afford to pay for the transportation or the stuff. So my question is, was all of this technolo technological advancement of the civilization positive for most humans on the planet? And for that matter, was it beneficial for nature too? Is it beneficial for nature too? Hmm. Are we really in a better place with all of these new technologies, I ask. Think about it. What have been the real benefits of this new digital era? Today, I want to talk to you about Iman Gatsi, or Iman Gatsi, sorry if I mispronounce. And I want to talk to him too. This is also a critique and an advice and a praise at the same time. He is a young British entrepreneur, though I was reading to that he was born in Russia. Well, regardless, he's the founder of IAG Media. It's a successful marketing agency that focuses on amassing a regular flow of attention into products and entities for their commercial usage, etc. He also gives advice and mentoring on YouTube. He's been recording his life he, since he was broke. And in my research now, as far as his life is going, he's part of a new generation of young, rich humans who are trying to expose their methods on how to improve their finances and life quality in general. Look, I consider myself a rebel and I do not blindly follow or believe in just anybody that comes across my path here or in the web, here in the physical life. I may not be a millionaire yet or a famous person but I know my life and my experiences count too. I don't admire anybody solely, only for the size of their wallet. Yet, yet I do respect people who put out their face and express their true opinions in these times of censorship, hate and confusion. I have not been part of his of his online courses um, and tutoring online tutoring courses because I think he already gives out a lot of information for free on his YouTube channel. So if he has been a scam in that regard, I cannot speak for my own experience on that level. My advice to you, listener, not Iman, this is for everybody who's not Iman and want to check out his life or what he does, is that I'm going to put down below some videos where he points out which skill sets and character traits and let's say advices he gives if you want to develop if 
you want to improve your life in general and your finances of course nevertheless in my humble opinion take it with a grain of salt even though it's very good advice I think everybody has a different story to unfold and what works for some may not work for you one of the things that I disagree with him in general and about his view of life is when he talks about this philosophy that is your passions will keep you poor which I totally disagree because what do you mean by poor by poor in what level in my experience in my humble experience people who truly follow their passions have a lot of what I call existential wealth and by that I mean happiness fulfillment and most important a sense of purpose considering my personal cosmology your passions are there in order to guide you towards the recognition and acknowledgement of your soul path and inner power which in my uh, life I've seen I met a lot of rich people and they lack this you know it's but it's just my opinion and that's one of the points that I disagree with him and something interesting about this is that the Buddhists agree with Iman in this regard you see that I'm, I, I like history and I like to talk about religions and, and spirituality and all of this and the Buddhists actually agree with him I don't agree with him or the Buddhist in this regard and maybe I will be talking about why the Buddhists disagree with the uh, agree with this statement of your passions would keep you poor in a way they say do not exploit your passions but yeah I disagree with that and that's one of the points I disagree with him but this is not the main point of the video back back to Iman back to the digital renaissance so I agree with what he proposes um, with most points that he proposes regarding his digital renaissance idea I agree with most of it actually and he has a video where he explains it and that it went private I don't know why what are, what are the reasons because maybe um, it's a little bit controversial the digital renaissance because he he talks about the puppet masters and a lot of this and it sounds to me that I mean it is kind of like a conspiracy theory type of video that could get banned in a way which I respect which I like not disagreeing with that so I'm gonna put the video the link down below in the description so maybe one day he will make it public again and you can see it so the idea of this digital renaissance is basically he wants to free humanity by means of gathering or making a critical mass of individuals who basically achieve financial spiritual and physical independence from the current global system from the current global system or matrix if you want to call it by following a similar path of life and approach to finances like the one he had of course there's more to it and again I kind of agree with what he's saying and why he's doing this and he actually goes into history talks about the Inquisition talks about the Renaissance era and how uh, we can use these tools to make a new Renaissance era so let me explain my biggest disagreement here with Imam's digital Renaissance now 
which is the fact that it is digital. And what do I mean by this? A digital renaissance instead of a real palpable material renaissance. Let me put this in other words or images. Let me show you Mindy to see if she can explain better. So Mindy is the predicted evolution of humankind in the next 3,000 years. She appeared on the news not so long ago. Let me show you another image. So, are these images ex um, talking for themselves? So, I agree. We got to make the best with the tools we have and use them for the good of all humanity. Tools meaning all the new technologies that have appeared in the last and the beginning of this century. Even if they really were made for us uh, or given to us to be enslaved or to be manipulated in a way or for the good of a few, even if they were made for that in the first place or, or not. And if they were made for us to have a better quality of life, meaning humankind and also nature, well, we should use it for that, you know for the best of all, including humans and nature, which is the same thing, in my opinion. Yes, we should use these technologies. I'm not saying we shouldn't. But we should never forget. We should never belittle, sneer, or look down on what I call our integrated biological technologies, such as your brain, your body, your spirit, your soul. Yes, Iman, to some level, he gives advice on physical health and wellness in general, and I believe he has a regular physical routine but this is what I recommend you, Imam, is like to focus or emphasize more on this point of health and wellness when you talk about this digital renaissance proposal. Because yes, we can use technology, computers, smartphones for liberation, but they could also be the cause of our demise, of our doom as, as humankind, you know? So, it is very paradoxical that I'm telling you this through screen, you know, using that technology. And, but my point is that we should all be very wary and conscious of how negative it can be for our bodies, mind and spirit, the constant usage of digital technology. So again, to each its own. My advice here will be to try to find the balance in the time we spend using these technologies and the time we keep developing our inner integrated biological technologies aka the body, mind and spirit because we uh, the westernized and the western civilizations I come from Panama which is kind of in the middle there we really don't even know the limits and the range and the true range of our own capabilities as humans our bodies are a marvelous, super mega complex and fascinating pieces of biological art. art. 
So if you are watching this video, Iman, please, please think about how your program of the digital renaissance relates and copes to transhumanism. You may have very good intentions, but we gotta watch out and be conscious, be conscious that the technology is very well a double-edged sword, if you know what I mean. Thank you.